Hello and welcome to DTW Tutorials Welcome. In today's video, we have a jam physics question here. It says a wire of radius 0.2 mm millimeter is extended by 0.5% of its length when supported by a load of uh, 1.5 kg. Determine the Young's modulus for the material of the wire. All right, take G as this, okay? So we have to determine the Young modulus. Remember, what's the formula for Young modulus? Is what tensile stress over over what tensile strain? Okay, that's your tensile stress over tensile strain. And what's that formula? Tensile stress is uh, force over area, and tensile strain is what your extension over what the length okay so and this young modulus will now be uh your modulus is you know when you resolve this that will be f uh, f l over a e okay so that's the formula for your young modulus okay please remember to um, go on the telegram group and download freely your 135 jam physics formulas okay for all your topics please do go on the telegram group the link is in the video description box okay and uh, you can whatsapp me if you're having difficulty okay in getting it okay so and my details is in the video description box of this video so here on my profile bio so next thing now we have to figure out all these values for your force okay which is the weight okay which is w all right, remember W is what? Mg, because, you know, this load is working under what? Gravity, okay? So, Mg, so that will be 1.5 times what? 9.8, okay? So, when you do this, you're going to get 15, approximately 15 Newton. So, we've resolved our F as 15 now. What is our L? We don't know our L. It's not mentioned, but there's something here. He said it's extended by 0.5% of its length. Okay, so uh, extension, are you with me? Is 0.5% of its length. We don't know the length, but we know our extension as 0.5% of its length. And what is 0.5%? You know, when we divide this, that's 0.5 divided by 100. What do we have? We have, you know, this will shift uh, uh, how many places that will be one two okay so it will be 0 0.005 of the length so times l okay so we know our extension as what 0.005 l are you with me we don't know l now what is our area our area we calculate area as what pi r square we're given our radius okay Remember, we have to convert this, this particular radius to what? This is millimeter, so convert it to meter. Remember how many uh, uh, millimeter makes a meter? 1,000. I hope you remember. 1,000 millimeter makes what? One meter. Please, all this short, short um, conversion, please make sure you know it. So to convert this guy to meter, we have to divide by 1,000. Okay? So uh, I'm trying to keep this space for our calculation. So when we divide this guy by 1000, let me come here, 0 0.02 divided by 1000, okay, we shift three times, right? Okay, or better still, let's just convert to standard form. I would shift here because I want two to stand, to, to, I want it to be two times 10 raised power something. So this would be what? Two. When you shift this way, you add another zero beneath it. I hope you remember. So this now will be what? Two times 10 is how many zeros do we have here for so negative four this guy let us also convert this to standard form so when we shift one two three so that will be five times what 10 is to power negative three okay so now we can now put all this into our formula okay so our f what is our f our f is 15 our l we don't know okay and what is our A? Our A is what? What did we get as our A? Where did we do this? Our area? Oh, we've not done our area yet. Sorry. Okay, so here. Uh, okay, we just converted. So this is this. Okay. So our area is 22 over 7 times what? R square. 
uh, r square is our radius radius square so we have uh two times 10 is for negative 4 all squared okay so all squared so this will be this times this and this times this so we have 22 over 7 times this times this uh that will be 2 squared times 10 is the power negative 8. okay when you see a question that is this uh, bogus please skip it and come back to it okay because it involves a lot of uh, thinking i'm just trying to break this down but there are faster ways i'm trying to explain everything there are faster ways for you to solve this okay so um so this is two square which is four okay so in your jam your jam has calculator all right so when you punch 22 times four okay divided by seven what are you going to have you're going to have a 12 you're going to have a 12.57 times 10 is for negative eight okay but you know i want this to be 1.2 okay so i'm going to put it this way okay so this gives me 1.257 when i shift this way it means i have to do what i have to add a one to our, our, our standard form i hope you know okay so that'll be times 10 is for negative 8 plus 1 and that'll be a negative 7 okay so that so our area is what 1.257 times 10 to the power a negative 7. And what is our E? Our E is what? We got our E as this. Okay, that will be times 5 times 10 to the power negative 3. Do you see that? 3 L. Don't forget the L because it says 0.5% of its L, of its length. So it means now that this L will then cancel out this L. Do you see that? The L cancel out this L. Okay. So what you do is just divide with your calculator, resolve the standard form. Our standard form. So let me quickly do this here. So that will be 15 over 1.257 times 5. Resolving our two standard form, that will be times 10 to the power negative 10. Negative 7 plus negative 3. Okay. Remember this is a negative 3. Our extension okay so when you resolve all this you're going to get what when you punch your calculator for all these three things when we now punch into our calculator 15 divided by 1.257 times 5 okay we are going to get a 2.38 okay and remember all right this is this so this is 1 divided by 10 raised to the power minus 10 okay you know when you have let me come here. When you have 1 divided by 10 raised to the power minus 10, what happens? What is 10 raised to the power minus 10 itself in indice form? It is 1 over what? You know, uh, negative inverse is what? 1 over 1 over 10 raised to the power 10. Okay. And when you divide this, this will come up. Is that not it? You have 1, okay, divided by 1 over 1 over 10. So this would come up. Do you remember? I hope you remember. So we are going to have a 1 times 10 raised to the power raised to the power 10. So this will now be 2.38 times what 10 raised to the power positive 10. Positive 10. Okay. So this is our final answer. And our right option here to approximate is what option D. Okay. So you can see this question. I picked this question for you. Okay, you can see, you, I hope you've learned several things from this. You've learned, uh, you know, your conversion, 1,000 millimeter to a meter. You've learned on standard form, when they bring questions that involve you manipulating your standard forms, you've learned from it. Okay, so you've learned how to, uh, which other thing again is critical during calculations in physics. Uh, yeah, how to walk around with just your basic maths. Because physics is more, you have a lot of maths. You have to apply maths in physics. All right. So all these basic things for maths, you need to know them. Manipulating standard forms, you need to know them. Okay. So as I said, when you see a question like this, please, I beg you, let it be, just quickly skip. Let it be like the, you come back to it. Okay. So it doesn't take it all your time without you going through all this. All right. So um, finally, don't forget to um, get the DT WJAM CBT app to practice more and uh, 
for your sciences, your arts, your commercial, the commercial subjects from you have it has past questions all the way from 1992 till date with correct solutions with class notes. Please get it and start practicing now. You can still join our intensive online classes and um, what else? What else? What else? You can check our website for several downloads. You can join the Telegram group also for several downloads and follow us on our YouTube channel and our TikTok in every of our social media platform. Follow us as we will always notify you of every new videos and information about your jam and other exams. All right. So thank you for staying with us. Don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Please do give your life to Christ for he is the way. Is the truth, he's the life, he's the one who's going to lead you to heaven at last and give you peace here on earth and joy and wealth and health. Okay, in Jesus' name. All right, thank you. You are destined to win in the forthcoming JAM 2024 examination and also in life. Take care.